What's up nootropics lovers, my name is Monsol. I'm with Nootropedia and today we're going to talk about the melatonin dosage that's going to work for you. So guys, I used to be against using melatonin to improve sleep, but I have since changed my position based on a lot of different research that I've found. However, using melatonin is only useful if you get the right melatonin dosage. Now, according to most places, it's much higher than it actually should be. So guys, melatonin is a natural hormone that's secreted by the pineal gland. It is part of our circadian rhythm and we release it every single day. Now the problem is with the current industrial Western society, there's often a problem with our melatonin production. We either don't get enough because we have blue light stimulation constantly in our eyes. The other problem we face is we are biphasic or polyphasic, which means usually we are sleeping multiple times a day, whereas in our current Western world, we usually sleep just once at night. So guys, having lower melatonin doesn't only hurt our sleep quality and our ability to go to sleep, but it also hurts our general health. And that's why I'm going to discuss some of the ways that we can prevent this from happening and get the right amount of melatonin that actually helps. So guys, a 2005 meta-analysis, which is one of the most comprehensive studies that one can do, uh, looked at 15 different trials and noted that melatonin helped with sleep latency, which is how long it takes to fall asleep, the sleep efficiency by about 2.2%, and also the sleep duration by about 12.8 minutes. So in all of these different factors, the meta-analysis showed that melatonin could be very effective for sleep. Now the second point is it's actually very safe to use. Uh, I originally thought that it led to either tolerance issues or just a uh, reliance by the body on external melatonin in order to survive or in, in order to create uh, a sleep pattern. But it seems that that's not the case. A study uh, of children using melatonin for six months found that there was no addiction and no tolerance that came from using melatonin. And again, that trial was in 2010, so fairly recent evidence. Now the problem the problem is most people take melatonin, but they do so in too high of a dosage. And it's really easy to do this because most of the products that you can buy at your neighborhood uh, pharmacy or local grocery store are actually in two milligram, five milligram, sometimes 10 milligram increments, which makes it very challenging to know what's the right dosage. One study showed that for elderly people, a dose 10 times lower than what was expected actually had optimal results. In that study, they used 0.1 to 0.3 milligrams of melatonin, which is nearly impossible to find uh, if you are looking for a specific product. At your local stores, it's gonna be very challenging to find anything that's under one milligram. So based on this and other studies, my recommendation is to take below a single milligram of melatonin. Now, I call this just a melatonin microdose, but it is a more effective dose that's going to help you to get better sleep and not feel groggy in the morning. One of the reasons that so many people take melatonin and feel that they don't have any effects or feel that melatonin doesn't work is because they take too much and they wake up in the morning feeling groggy instead of refreshed. Taking a microdose of melatonin is actually going to help you to get the right amount of rest and not feel groggy when you you wake up in the morning. 
So using a Zio sleep tracker, Gwern found that uh, using melatonin in a low dosage could subtract about an hour from his sleep needs. Now this is gonna vary by the person, this is very anecdotal, but it is something to keep in mind that melatonin is going to help you get more restful sleep if it's in the right dosage. So guys, I have very personal experience with this. So my partner, Mallory, has trouble sleeping and she used our Aura Ring to check her sleep using melatonin. When she took a high dose of melatonin, she actually experienced a lower sleep quality and in the morning she felt more groggy and had a harder time waking up. However, once we broke the tablets into fourths and she started to take 0.4 to 0.5 milligrams every night, she actually had better sleep. So it was a really good, clear anecdotal indication to me that taking a microdose of melatonin could be a lot more effective. So anyway guys, that's my advice. I do want to give some props to uh, Nutribox because they have created a sleep product. While I don't agree with all the, the specific aspects of their sleep product, Nutribox does have a low dose of uh, melatonin, which is one of the few products that seems to have done the adequate research. But anyway guys, I hope you found this useful. If you want to learn more about melatonin and find a recommended vendor, go ahead and click the link right here, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.